Was there anything in the documentary so far that you was hoping they would have shown just early on right now? You know what? I didn't, I, I'll be honest with you. I, what I would like to see is more of what it was like for Michael Jordan making the transition as a person from college, coming being a country boy and then coming to Chicago. Uh, I have a couple of friends that were on the Bears that talk about when they brought Michael Jordan into Chicago and introduced him around and kind of, he was kind of like the country mouse, like, whoa, what's <laughs> going on here? And I'd love to hear a little bit more about the story between him and Juanita, but I'm sure they'll keep that out. I know, right? <laughs> I was up here that story too. I, I also believe she's a big part of the reason of those six championships. But. That's because, you know what, I think she's a good part of the, let me say this, I think that when we looked at Michael Jordan back then, the media was very controlled. So we didn't know about any of his extracurricular activities, et cetera, um, like we do now, right? Cause somebody, there were no camera phones. I think that Juanita Jordan was a significant part of his success from being with him, not making a stink, raising his kids, doing that whole thing. So I'll give her all of like that. Like you said, she brought a lot to the table for it to be established. Though. You ain't dribble no balls. But she probably caught some rebounds. 